Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Debbie with Studio MD and it's Friday. So happy because I haven't been able to shop all week. <laughs> so many supplies I have to go get. So I am just about ready for that weekend. Uh, so I guess, did we talk about this a couple days ago that we had all that, um, we had a mess with somebody trying to pack into us, but they really didn't. It was just a copy and paste scheme. They never got anything. But then we had to shut everything down. And then yesterday we thought that we were in Facebook jail. We weren't at all. Everybody, apparently everybody was in Facebook jail. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lori. Happy Friday to you. Uh, hi, Judy from Tennessee. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Debbie Donegal. I, Donegal, I love that name. Janine Only. Okay, you guys will notice, um, I was private messaging with Diane Cardello today, and I told her, just so you know, I'm, I'm gonna blame you if this doesn't work. Well, it didn't work even before you guys got on. We were trying to, hi Denise from San Antonio. We were trying to get my camera flipped. Here's a reason, there's a reason why I don't do it. I know other crafters do, and they're probably very successful at it. For some reason, you guys, I'm not successful at it because of the way my whole setup is. I tried it, and you can either see me or my project. Those are your two choices. And, um, hi, Kathy has. Oh, thank you. Good. Hi, Sarah. Sarah, I feel like we haven't seen you on our lives in a few days. So, uh, hi, Tammy. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Tammy, you're, you're talking to Kathy. Wow, Kathy's become the new superstar, and Callie, when she's on, uh, Debbie Nitson, thank you. I am having a good day. Uh, hopefully I'm not frozen because I'm not having any issues on my end today. So hopefully you guys aren't either. Kathy Spang's on. Hopefully it's Friday and maybe Callie Bowen is on too. She's our genius behind everything that handles all of our, um, all of our virtual stuff. So anyway, we still don't have the next class up, which is the candle holder and the plate. So it's a cake stand. But the only reason it's not on our end, it's on San Diego and they're not ready to pull the trigger on a certain ballroom. So we can't put any information out until we get that handled. So just so you know, that's what that's all about. But we'll have it maybe tomorrow. Hi, Liz. Um, hi, Sandra. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Judy. But I want you to see, if you're going to take the class, this is what I showed for my demo. This is what I bought. I mean, you guys, these are gorgeous. They're super heavy. They're just really nice. So this is what we're using for the class. I just always want you to know, we're not using crappy stuff. When we do classes, we use, I mean, we, we try to have you guys go get really nice stuff because if you're gonna take the time to pay me for a class and then buy all your supplies and buy your project, I wanna make sure that it's going to last you forever and you're gonna love it and it's not just some janky thing that you're gonna give away or throw in a closet and never use. I'm all about, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make it, I'm going to be proud of it and I'm going to display it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna waste my time. Okay, Melanie, no. Melanie Jefferson, that's our big announcement. Well, we have two big announcements. The lady never claimed her prize, you guys. So guess what today is? Da, 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 da. Today's giveaway Friday. I think it is hysterical. I, I swear to you, the last 15 minutes, I've been checking Facebook and just checking over and over to see if maybe she has sent me a message and I did not want to, you know, I don't want to screw her out of her prize if she, hi Joanne White, my new best friend from Canada. Uh, I didn't want her, you know, I really didn't want to screw her out of her prize because she did win fair and square, but she didn't claim it. So today is giveaway Friday and look what's back up for grabs. So I'm excited about this. I mean, here's the thing guys, I feel bad for her. What, how crazy is that? Like you won, but here's the thing. You've either got to be here or you've got to go back and replay some of these videos to see at least on Wednesdays if you won. And if you won, You've got to, uh, you know, you, you've got to message me and tell me you won and you're excited. Because here's the thing, guys. If, if I'm going to make something like this, which let me just tell you, I could sell for probably $75. I'm giving it away. I want to know the person that's getting it 
is really grateful for it. And not that this person probably wouldn't be grateful, but she didn't know. And if you don't care enough to check to see if you won, I feel like you don't get to win. So here we go. Isn't that exciting? So, oh, she will, she'll be sick and I feel terrible, but you know what? That's how we roll over here. You know what? You're here, you appreciate it, you don't, it's, it's either way, or you miss it, I don't know, but I'll feel terrible if something horrible happened to her, and you know, that's why she has, just hasn't been able to get back on Facebook, but uh, I real thank you, Molly, I try to be super fair about it. So, literally the last 10, 15 minutes, I've been on pins and needles making, seeing, is, is she gonna contact me, is she gonna contact me? She didn't. At 2.30, I literally was like, boom, done. You don't get to win it. Guess what else I did? I went back through anybody who'd commented even afterwards on our question. I went through and you guys are all in here too. So I, this should be super duper fair. So here we go. Uh, good luck to everybody one more time. This is what you're playing for and I'm gonna mail it out. Okay, let me see which way, here we go. Uh, if you missed it, Diane Cardello, if you're on here, that whole horizontal camera does not work for me. So um, nobody send me hate mail. It doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work for me. So uh, <laughs> everybody's gotta get over it. Uh, I'm trying to work with that whole camera thing that I don't understand. So you gotta let me have, let me have the, the vertical thing. Okay, here we go. Good luck to everybody. Um, my mom's in the house. Here we go. Alexa, drum roll please. She's very loud today. Okay, here we go, guys. How fun is this? Twice in a week. All right, I wanna make sure you guys, if you see anything drop out or anything happen, I don't know why this makes me so nervous. Like, I get so happy for everybody, but I, okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab one down here at the bottom because I've been mixing them up. All right, here we go. Let me see, I got one, I got one. Okay, good luck. I hope you're here, whoever wins. I hope you're here right now. If not, literally you have 48 hours. You have till Sunday at 2.30 to get a hold of me. And if you don't, we'll play again. We'll go till this sucker gets mailed out. Here we go. Okay, I haven't seen her name come up yet. Delia Hernandez. Delia Hernandez, if you're here, you gotta wave at us, gotta you know say, yay, I won, something. Otherwise, uh, you have till Sunday, 2.30 to get a hold of me. Uh, okay, Delia Hernandez, our new winner. We'll see, I'm getting a pile of them over here now. The other lady's underneath there, so we'll see. All right, well, good luck and, uh, con I mean, congratulations, Delia. I hope, you, I hope you contact me and I'm pretty sure everybody else is very happy for you and hopes you don't contact me. We'll know by 2.30. And if I don't hear from her by 2.30, I'll let you all know. And we will do another, uh, we'll do another drawing Monday. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we don't care. We have no shame over here. Okay, real quick, I want to show you some things and then we'll get to the craft. Because uh, somebody told me I talked too much the other day. And you're gone. <laughs> just like that. You're not even allowed to say you don't like my glasses. Nothing. You just have to be super nice over here and that's it. Oh, and by the way, today I'm wearing my blue blockers because I was hoping that they don't reflect all my lighting as much as the other ones. Okay, I wanna show you a couple things I got this week. Um, it's so fun for me to show you guys a little happy meal. This is from Ginger, Ginger Kaiser, I think it's Kaiser McCullough, Ginger. Anyway, I think she's the only Ginger we have. First of all, she got me this little um, ostrich. It's a little charm, but it's got a little ostrich on it with black and white check. And then this is a Sharpie. I'm gonna assume she made it. Ginger, if you made this, let us know. Uh, Vicki Richards, how do you qualify to win? Uh, all you had to do was answer a question that we posted on this page uh, a couple days ago. And uh, you might wanna get over there and uh, you might wanna, hold on, Sandy, I will answer that in a second. Um, you might wanna get over there and answer the question, look for it. It's on, it's on a picture of this. Whoops, this. So it's on this page, look for it, answer the question, and then just in case, you'll be back in. Yes, Kathy just uh, answered that question. My office chair was from American Furniture Warehouse. I don't know the, the set name, but it's a fabulous chair. Anyway, Ginger, thank you so much. 
Uh, this is uh, Kim Dwyer. We have a um, we have a link for these too. So Kathy's got that link. This is a little <laughs> little. I don't. Know, is it a Dalmatian? I don't know what it is or a cow. Anyway, it's adorable. Thank you so much. I love stuff like this. Uh, Christine, yes, you can enter. Anybody out of the country even can enter. But here's what we say: if you win, you have the option to pay the shipping or uh, you know. Say, forget it, I, I don't wanna deal with it. We cannot afford international shipping. I looked it up and I literally cannot afford it. So um, that's our only rule. You can win, but you gotta pay your own shipping. But it's still a smoking deal, are you kidding me? Okay, that was from Ginger, real quick. Look at this, you guys. <sighs> okay, first of all, this is the package it came in. Uh, Missy Brunken, I hope you're on today. Um, this was the package it came in. How much do you think I already loved that? So I couldn't wait to open it. The back says, sorry, I can't come to your cat's birthday party. My dog's getting married that day. <laughs> I don't know why I love all this stuff so much. But anyway, this is somebody who gets me, who, who really gets me because this cracked me up. And for the record, I will start doing this. Debbie will pay for the class. Um, Debbie, I will pay for the class. I hope I can swing. Oh, okay. Gina, I hope so. All right, so this is what came from Missy Brunken. First of all, I got this darling card that says, undecided about which pants to wear, fancy or smarty. Pants, get it? So cute. All right, in this was some uh, crown stickers, beautiful crown stickers. I know, the packaging was unbelievable. Like, hats off to you, Missy, and I'm stealing it. And then a whole bunch of funny things that I love, you guys. Oh, my gosh. You know how much I love this stuff. Oh, darling, I'm sorry I don't take orders. I barely take suggestions. That should be me. I'm a little bit of a control freak. So that was from Missy. Not all. That was from Missy. These darling little birds were in there that I'm going to use for decoupage. Uh, little hair ties because Lord knows I wear my hair up all the time. And, hold on, it's so great having a birthday around here. I'm not even kidding. It's the day that just keeps going for me. Um, look at these. I got a whole bag of gorgeous crowns. So just to be fair, I'm going to give one away Sunday night. I mean, if it was fair, it would be, you know, half and half, but it's not going to happen. So I'm going to give one away because, I mean, I don't want to seem, you know, selfish or, you know, overindulgent or anything. Please hold up the glasses again. Okay, the multicolors, they're adorable. You guys, I, I love, love, love these. I know, more crowns, you guys. I have so many crowns now, it makes me so happy. I love these, love, love, love them, but somebody said it makes my eyes look really dark, but I feel like it blocks out the light too. Let's try these for a little while, see how this goes. Um, okay, so I did that, and then, you know, yesterday we did the frame with the girl, and I had all this stuff out on my desk, and so I decided, huh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more stuff for our auction, so I did. So I wanted to, okay, here's the only problem about this chair, you guys. It's really heavy, and um, so it's hard to maneuver, but it's spectacular, so I don't care. Um, thank you, Nancy, I really do like these a lot. Uh, okay, so, look, how stinking cute. So this is from Walmart, and let me show you what it looked like when I got it so that you can go get it. So it had this inside the plastic. It was, uh, I think it was $5.99. So this is what it looked like at Walmart. You want the ones that have the, the cover, like the plastic cover. And so remember we were talking about this little, um, whatever that saying is from Coco Chanel, you live but once, you might as well be amusing. Okay, so I went to my uh, McKinsey Child's catalog. I cut out a big tea kettle, hung it on her arm, jazzed her up, put the wings on her so now you can see the wings. And um, what a great, great gift this would make. And I used my new crown from Missy. So I still had, I'm gonna say, I still had crown sitting on my desk. So I thought, let's just keep going. Let's do one more for our auction. And so this one I absolutely love and we'll auction it off. So if you have uh, like a best friend who's funny, okay, look, I took the bunny right out of the McKenzie catalog 
And um, let me show you what it looked like so that you can get a better idea of what, I was gonna have this ready and then I, for, I forgot, hold on. There it is. Okay, so all I did, I went to my McKenzie Child's catalog and I saw the bunny, and I know, I wish I'd, I wish I'd thought to do this before Easter, but I didn't, but bunnies are year round. Anyway, so you can see it's got a, a little sign that says hop to it. So I cut the bunny out, you know, like I cropped him out perfectly. Then I found this other saying and just stuck it in the frame. And this one says, good friends don't let you do stupid things alone. Crown, bling, I mean, cute, 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 cuteness. So again, your catalogs are not just for, you know, flipping through every once in a while, you know, licking your finger, sitting there looking so elegant with your feet up on your beautiful tuffet. Um, these are for cutting up and making fun stuff out of. So a lot of times, if you've seen some of our other stuff, we have gals, like we'll, I'll cut out tuffets and have a gal sitting on a tuffet, like a 50s lady on a tuffet. Uh, for Christmas one year, I did these. Uh, the, uh, there's a wreath in here and, um, I had it hanging around, uh, a, a friend's neck and then sent her the card. Anyway, they're just stupid, but, and if you haven't seen this yet, take a, go, uh, mckenziechilds.com, get a piece of wrapping paper, take it to Office Max, have them put it on the heaviest card stock they have. And now you have great card stock, McKenzie Childs card stock. You know, we just... We just have ideas. That's all we have. It's up to you guys to fulfill them, but uh, we're giving you a bunch of ideas. All right, two more things I promise we'll start because I know everybody's been wondering about this. I finally finished these today, and I got to tell you, I love them. I love them. So the gumballs are adorable. Uh, how can you get a McKinsey Child's catalog? Great, great question, Sandra. Just go on their website and ask for one. Yeah, just go ask for one. Uh, anyway, adorable. In our auction, I'm going to paint however many came in the pack. I don't know if it was six or 12, whatever it was. We're going to give all these away. And you know, yesterday I badmouthed the crown so bad. Oh my gosh. I love the crown so much. So uh, I have 12 of these. I'm going to paint all 12 of them. And those are also going to be in our auction. Can you imagine just to be able to have these? They didn't take me that long. They made me to maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, but still to save you the time. And then you'll have that as a, um, for the, your next party. Anyway, so thrilled. So forget how much I bad mouth that crown because now I love it. Okay. Are you guys ready for our craft today? I think you will be. I know we get sick of doing black and white check. Let me clear some of this off. So I don't get anything on anything. But Missy Brunken, Ginger, thank you so much. I have gotten more cards from people. Thank you so much, really. I mean, I know I laugh about it every day, but I'm floored every day by it. Okay, guys. We're doing it uh, uh, Nailed It, Failed It Friday. Oh, and you know what else I thought? We could also use these crowns without the inside and glue them onto like some of our stuff. So they're, they're, I'm all about the crowns now. So it's kind of a Friday, um, nailed it or failed it, because we try and do something we've never done. And I am doing something I've never done from this company. So we're actually, it's probably a little bit more product testing Tuesday, but we're, have we heard from Delia yet? Delia Hernandez, who won? Let me know, because now I'm, I'm like, let's give her till, uh, let's give her till three o'clock my time, and then we'll just keep drawing till we find somebody. Uh, anyway, she has, it's, um, let's see, Kathy has the link. We tried to get all this done ahead of time today. The Glitter Bee Boutique. She doesn't even know we're doing this today. So I always think it's funny when they get just swarmed with all kinds of stuff and then they have no idea why. I just think it's fun. It's like a nice little happy mail for them. So Glitter Bee Boutique, Kathy will put up the link for that. This is where I bought her transfers. And let me just tell you, she had some darling funny transfers. Uh, well, bless your little heart. Uh, when life gives you lemons, grab the vodka. Uh, this is whether we're debating whether we want to use this one today or not, or this one. Uh, this one says, not everyone is going to think I'm funny and pretty and that's okay. They wrong though. How much, uh, how much do you love that one? So anyway, I, oh, sweet tea and sunshine. I thought that was cute. And uh, Mama Cita needs a margarita. So she had some really funny ones. So, I mean, literally tons of them. 
We might lose you. You're driving over the grapevine. Who is that? Who's driving over the grapevine? Never even heard that. But the one I was thinking I would use today is I'm Just a Girl Who Loves Makeup because we have this darling little silver tray and it kind of fits perfect. So what I was thinking, and you guys tell me, I'm gonna give you three options and let you guys pick, which I know I'm setting myself up for failure right now. You found the Flexi Ruler at Staples today. Liz Carlo, that's amazing information. Good for everybody. Okay, good, good, good. You like the second pink one. Okay, let's, okay, so here's, um, I'm just a girl who loves makeup. And just so you know what I'm doing, we're going to paint a border around whatever transfer we do. And then we're going to pink check the whole thing and uh, get a glimpse of the handles I've made. Mm -hmm. So we're just, uh, this is a totally different, really cool little thing we're doing today, especially because I have nailed the honeymoon pink color. I have, I, I, I have great eyeballs. I see colors. And so you'll, you'll, you'll wanna know what those colors are if you're a pink girl. We've never done this before. So this is the first time uh, we have, uh, Joanne, again, we're so tired of, of Canada not having anything and you not just getting the heck out of there. So eventually I'm gonna have to send you a flexi ruler. I know it, I just know it. So, uh, okay, so that's number one. All right, tell me about that. This is number two. So this I think would be obviously a cute little makeup tray for anybody or your granddaughter, your daughter, whatever. This to me could sit in your home and be a key, um, like a key, what do you call it? Key catch all. So I do have great eyeballs. It was one of my beauty pageant talents. We haven't talked about my beauty pageant in forever. Okay, or, um, this, this could work too. It'll be a little funky, but it could work. So one, two, or three. One makeup, two antlers, three, I'm really funny and pretty. They, oh, what, what does it say? Not everyone is gonna think I'm funny and pretty, and that's okay, but they wrong though. So let me know which one you guys like. Okay, so Kathy, you're going to have to give me, uh, give me an answer. Walmart has lots of flexi rulers for S Susan Walsh, 74 cents. I paid $1.14. Um, and did they have them? Okay, so far three. Did they have a three? Did they have them online or did you got, did, were you able to get them in the store? Oh, here we go. Okay, and while we're waiting for everybody to do that, I wanted to do a quick product testing. There's been a lot of uh, questions about primer and base coating for anything, but specifically for metal for our tea sets. So somebody said the Dixie Belle, it will probably work, but you really want the slick stick. Well, tomorrow, the lady who is the local gal for uh, Dixie Belle and Prima transfers and all that kind of stuff contacted me. And tomorrow I'm going to her place of business and I'm going to get uh, like a full tutorial, hopefully, and see what all she's got. Okay, so here's the Dixie Bell. Let's see what it does on uh, something like this. And if you haven't base coated or primed yet, you do not want to use, um, thank you, thank you, Marianne. You do not want to use uh, your checking brushes, like your number eight, your Zen brushes, you don't use those for base coating. You don't use those for anything other than just checking. It's the only way to keep them nice. You wanna use just big old fat, ugly brushes to do your base coating and your sealing. So let's just give this a shot. I'm doing it, this is the Dixie Bell on metal. Um, interesting. It is just kind of pushing it around. I think it would work, but... Um, It, very interesting. Honestly, the Zinser 123 primer on metal worked way better than that. So somebody else said Rust-Oleum um, Flexi Rulers were in the store. That's amazing. I can't find them in my stores anymore. Um, so let's just say, I think we need the Slick Stick or if you've gotten di di uh, the Dixie Bell, just do a couple coats. That's all I'm going to say about it but um, look, it all wiped right back off. So 
Um, whoever said that, I think it was Kathy Hess that gave me that information. You're exactly right. Um, but the Dixie Belle Boss works fantastic for everything else. Uh, yep, slick, slick stick for metal. I always like to try just in case. I, I never trust companies. I think they're always just trying to upsell everybody and, you know, screw the consumer. But apparently in this case, they weren't at all. They're like, no, we're, we're trying to help you out. Okay, did we make a decision, you guys? Because we're ready to go. Uh, Kathy, let me know which one you think got the most. I saw a lot of threes. But, uh, and I could care less, you guys. It doesn't matter. It's going in the auction like everything else. End of the month. We're working on Sunday, April 25th, 4 p.m. my time, which would be, uh, what is that? 4 p.m. my time, which is 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Uh, on the East Coast. Well, I primed it. I painted it. I've got my job done. You guys... Let's get your job done. You, Kelly Cohen, you are a retailer for them? Oh yeah, I'm excited. If I don't hear from somebody in about two seconds, I'm going for it. Uh, if you think one is better, go with it. Well, one was the one I had planned out for today, but honestly, this one is pretty. <laughs> so, all right. I mean, oh, now we're back again. One. All right, well, we'll do another one with the other ones, but for right now, this goes better with the blingy handles that I have prepared for today. So I actually think this is kind of funny and cute. And uh, like I said, go to Glitter Bee Boutique once Kathy gets that up. And I just want anybody to be heartbroken and it scratched off. I know, Kathy, you know what? I, I, believe me, you have no idea how much I appreciated that information. And you guys, I know I'm scary, but please don't ever be afraid to tell me anything, <laughs> especially if I do it wrong. But just like, you know, private message me if I do something really stupid and uh, we'll get it figured out. It's those ladies that call me names when we're, when we're online that just drives me insane. But luckily, there haven't been that many of them. Okay, so if you haven't seen these yet, um, all right, that's what I'm doing. All right, I just, I, I was just like, no, I can't be bothered. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Super fun. These are called water slide transfers, and they're at, again, Glitter Bee Boutique. Kathy, as soon as you get a second, put it up. And apparently there is this kind of paper that you could just print these off on your own. You could have anything online and... Uh, you know, do the same thing. So what it says to do is, now I've never used hers. We've used Emmeline's Vintique's uh, slide-offs. That was the bunny tray that we did, and it was gorgeous. She had beautiful stuff. This girl has bright colored, funny stuff. So it says, put it in the water for about 30 seconds, and you will start to see, oh gosh, did you see that? You'll start to see the back start to slip off. All right, let's see. Let's just leave it in here for a second. And I've got my plate ready. Ah, this stuff makes me nervous. Let's see if it, oh, it's coming off. Okay, here we go. So here's what she said to do. Then you put it, remove that. You put it on your project and I'm gonna have to have this towards me, you guys, so sorry. And then you just slide. Are you watching that? I'm just sliding. Oh, I didn't do it very well. Hold on, hold on. I still have time. I still have time, hold on. I still have time to work with it, I think. We might be doing makeup after all, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Oh gosh, I think I got ahead of myself, let's see. No, I think I'm gonna be okay, hold on. think oh my gosh it worked did you guys see that I hope so because I was I was so into it I totally forgot anybody was with me all right hold on and now it says to kind of push the water out push the wrinkles out which there aren't any because that's just how good I am at this <gasps> look at that you guys okay glitter bee boutique Thumbs up, my sister. Thumbs up, my friend. 
Uh, I still think it's hysterical. Uh, uh, paper is uh, da 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 da, but it makes you buy the clear back. Oh, okay. Yeah, these transfers are a riot, and I totally saved it. Like that was, I had to pull my, you know, I had my holsters ready. I was ready. I was, I was not messing this up no matter what, and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this works better with what we're doing today anyway. And somehow in my panic, I did get it centered in everything. Okay guys, so here's what we wanna do now, cause I want you to do this. This is, this is such a great little project. How fun was that? And it just comes right off. So the key to that is um, making sure that you have it cut, like cropped and ready. And it says, uh, oh good, you guys are just helping each other. So I don't need to worry about all that stuff. I hope. Um, anyway, it says to crop it and you don't crop straight lines. You want to crop, you know, curled lines because they won't show up as much. You guys saw there was some white background on this and you cannot see it anywhere. I mean, this went on beautifully. Okay, so what I want to do now is give it like a frame so it stands off, you know, stands on its own. Uh, <sighs> Joanne. All right, let's see. So now it's a matter of just getting myself straight. This is the flexi ruler that we cut in half yesterday. But I did realize that only one side's really good. The other side isn't that great. All right, I, I'm going to do a thing. I'm gonna measure. I just don't wanna go, I'm a half inch. Uh, I wanna have it look about the same. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, half inch. Okay, there we go. That looks straight. Because I want to show you, we're going to go with the curve of this tray also. Hmm. That kind of looks like it's uh, off kilter. Oh, Donna, thank you. <laughs> oh, Kathy, Joanne is just trying to get a free ruler out of somebody over here. I will end up sending her one eventually for reals. Okay, here we go. Let's just keep going with this. And you can see all I'm doing is lining up my ruler with the previous line. We could do this in stripes too. Uh, but now I've got to go the other way. Just know that you're, I, when, you, when I cut it, I ended up giving one side that I didn't do a very good cut on. And so it's got a little bit of a, um, like a jagged edge, which is gonna be, which is gonna kill me at some point. Hold on, let me get my good erasers. Are you guys excited to learn the pink? First time I've ever done it today. Been working on it all day till I got the color right. Um, you signed in on the sister's page. How do I pay for class, et cetera? Uh, Debbie Stoltenberg, all of our classes are on uh, www.studiomdaz.com. Joanne, why is it I can't see anybody else's comments and every time I look up, I see yours? That just cracks me up. Okay, here we go. So now I'm just going up to my frame, like, you know, my frame that I have made, my fake frame. And now I'm just going this way. You guys, this is gonna be super cute. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing the pink today. But I'm doing my lines dark so you can see them. I did learn when you do pink, you have to barely have, Gina, thank you so much. You have to barely have any uh, pressure on your pencil. You need a really, really light touch. So good to know. I didn't want to do it today because you guys wouldn't have been able to see what I'm doing. But... Um, Okay, let's go up and over onto this little deal, I think. Don't you think? Sometimes I just, I'll just not even ask. I'll just keep going and pretend like I asked and you answered. Did we hear from Delia yet, anybody? Or Delia, whatever. Um, Hernandez, is she on? <laughs> this is gonna be, this will be the biggest, funniest story if, if she's not on and we never hear from her either. And then we just keep going. Okay, nobody panic, but I'm gonna freehand just because 
This could take me till next Christmas otherwise, and I'm a freehander. But you guys know you, you would do it the other way, but I can't, I can't right now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so great. I know you guys are anxiously anticipating the, um, the colors that I'm gonna use, and you're gonna be shocked. Does any, uh, no, we're still waiting. For, we're still waiting for the venue, Morello. Uh, what's happening? Why, why do we have, uh, why do we have other people on here? We shouldn't. Kathy, you might need to be on the ready. Um, okay. Okay, perfect. It's going to be adorable. Um, okay, so there are, um, here's why we say, when you guys ask us for colors, um, like what color should I use for blue or what color should I use for this and that, the reason why, well, there's two reasons why we usually don't give that information out. Like this is number one, people have paid for that information and so it's not fair just to give it out. And number two, it's because there's a certain technique involved. Like for instance, um, for instance, with the parchment, we literally use 10 different colors and it's how you use them. So I can't just say, hey, go get all these colors and you know, it's going to work beautifully for you because it won't, it, it won't work. Same thing with the royal blue. The royal blue is three colors. The honeymoon pink, I'm calling it honeymoon pink, but we really shouldn't. It's Czech savvy pink is three colors plus a white. So I'm sure the purple is a shock to you all. Wait, where's the purple? The purple is probably a shock to you all. Uh, it was to me, but it, again, it's when you, when you understand color matching. So I went online and I looked up the, that uh, H pink and this is something we're giving away during class Sunday night. Look how cute. So I started doing it and you can see up here, I started doing it and I was like, yeah, that's pretty, but that's still not the color. And then when I got down here, I said, okay, now I've got it. So it took me a minute to get it, uh, but then I just kind of added it. And then I looked at other, um, other items that are pink in the catalog and they're all different color pinks, but with the purple added is their dominant color. So, you're welcome. Huh. I mean, I think everybody thinks you can just go out and I'm just gonna go get a pink and it's gonna work fine. No, it doesn't work like that, you guys. Not when you're painting, it does not work that way. You've got to, um, you've got to do some color matching. Well, and let me just say, that's only if you're trying to get similar colors. I don't know about these lines, but, okay, so here's what I did. And um, I don't even know if these colors are available. These are the colors I had on hand, and I will let you know what I'm using because we won't do a class in pink. I'm using Folk Art Crushed Coral. All right, so you might want to screenshot. Um, Kathy will put this up when she has a minute. So uh, Folk Art Crushed Coral. Folk Art Baby Pink. Folk Art seashell pink, Americana dioxazine purple. Doesn't that seem insane? You could probably get away with a lavender instead of a deep purple because I'm, um, yes, Annie, you have to mix colors, especially if you're a painter. Uh, where did I get the transfer? Um, that transfer came from uh, Bee Glitter or something. Kathy's got the link for that. We'll put up these but I'm also using just my regular base coat that I always use. But I want you to see how this is done. And when we set up for a royal check or for a parchment check, this is exactly how we do it. You just have a few little puddles on your plate and you're working out of all of them. But in this case, the coral is my predominant and it just took a touch, uh, barely a tad. Uh, the diaxazine, Lori, yeah, it's such a pretty color. I also, you guys, if you're looking for something other than black to do your background drag with when you're doing black and white checks, um, I used to do, I used to use um, antique gold and the diaxazine purple as my drag, and it is very pretty. 
but for some reason we got away from that. So the pink does not have a background drag. Just so you know, I tried and I, I kept looking at it and there was no background drag on it. So we're not doing one either. I'm going to grab a number four. Let's see, what do I have? That's too little. This looks like a, there's a four. I'm gonna grab a four. Actually, I'm gonna grab an eight. Sorry, you guys. I wanna make sure that I'm getting the right size. Yeah, I'm gonna grab an eight. Okay, and here's the key. Let me get all this out of the way so you guys can see. And hopefully you guys can see even though I'm not horizontally, sorry. Okay, so I almost always start with my white, dip in my white. Now I wanna go to my next darkest color, which is going to be, and the purple is an aside. So my next darkest color is my coral. And now I've got it double loaded on my brush. I'm gonna wipe it off. I wanna see what I've got. And I need to kind of mix it up a little bit and see. Eh, okay, it's really corally. So I'm gonna just start touching in a few other colors. And now I'm gonna just do a dab of that purple. Start mixing. And now it's too purple. So this is why I'm saying it takes this is not just this simple thing that you just jump in and start doing. You've really got to start working with your colors, but look what's happening already. We're already getting to this color where we want to be. Unfortunately, you're going to have to keep doing it over and over, but we're really close right now. So do you see how that took on more of the purple hue, which is what uh, we needed? More of a purple hue. Um, and then every once in a while, I'm going to jump in with just some of the other colors, just like we do in parchment. Okay, so every other, I'm not going to use a pencil mark. I'm going to do this. Every other check. Remember, just so we don't mess up. And it's okay to do it like this, but you don't want to do that. If this was black, you would not want to do that. All right, so let's just start here so you guys can see. Same thing, offload, get in the corners. Pull down, this is why these flat brushes are amazing. And look at already how pretty that color is. Let's add some white to it because the next one, this one's going to be right next door to it. And we want all of our checks to look just a little bit different. This will go super fast, you guys. So I'm hoping you can see, and if anybody has this pattern in their house, um, I would encourage you to go get it and test us. Let us know if we're pretty close. So when you're traveling like this, like this, this check right here that I'm doing right now is traveling uphill. Well, just because I penciled it out wonky doesn't mean I need to paint wonky. So just keep that in mind. You can always erase. Come back in here, do this one. See how fast this is going to go? And now I'm gonna come in with just some coral and white, nothing else, just coral and white. This is where just, you know, having a, a plate, just messing around with it, playing with colors. But it was a shock to me when I realized, okay, you know what I had to have it was purple. Uh, the pinks weren't getting it, no matter what pink I was using, it wasn't getting the color I wanted. And then once I added just that teeny bit of purple, so like I said, you could probably get away with, um, how pretty is this gonna be? Let me know what you guys think so far. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you just wanna do black and white and never anything else and shame on me for even trying this? But that's not all you do, because the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do it now, why is, why is the first square different? I don't know. Uh, so now I'm gonna come in like this with just a little bit of white. Do you see that? And it's the white that changes everything. So, I don't know what you meant, Latanya. They're all pretty much the same. Um, okay, so again, you can see this go, it'll go pretty fast. Uh, obviously not as fast as the black because we're not mixing, but you can see where I also have to go back in and get rid of some of those pencil lines. So that's an issue. Um, and you can also see it takes hardly any paint at all. Love it. 
And because we have touch up, I don't mind getting in these little crevices. And if I get something on this, the edges, makes no difference to me because I'm probably going to paint that edge gold anyway. All right, let's let that dry and then I'll go back over it. But how cute already. Love, love, love. I still love black and white. I mean, I'm a black and white girl through and through, but um, sometimes it's fun just to branch out and do other colors. We probably should have done this again before Thanksgiving, but I, we had so much, so many different projects to do before thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, Easter. Okay, you guys love it, hate it, uh, love the color change. Uh, great gift for Mother's Day, perfect. Uh, Debbie Stoltenberg, we just went over all the colors, so um, Callie uh, hopefully will put those up or uh, as soon as we go offline. Uh, I really don't wanna put them on, uh, so if somebody, Saw it, I'll tell them to you again and somebody just write them down for me. It is Folk Art Baby Pink, Folk Art Crushed Coral, Folk Art Seashell Pink, Americana Dioxazine Purple, because we're not going to promote this to the whole world. This is just for you guys or anybody who replays. Um, Okay, now see, I'm so glad that happened. So I just got ahead of myself. Had I done that while I was painting, I would have been so sad. So real quick, let me get in here and do these. Yeah, so you'll definitely wanna make sure you have a very light pencil hand. Or maybe even a pink, um, a lot of times I'll use uh, like watercolor pencils. You can use a watercolor pencil. Um, variety is the spice of life. A what like a pink colored pencil, and that'll work just fine too. I used to have a whole stash of all different colored pencils right here for this reason, and um, I don't know why I got rid of them. So it's the same same philosophy that when you take our tutorials, you'll see. It's how you move the brush, it's how you use your brush, but it's very, very easy to learn. And you saw it takes very little paint, so don't get crazy and pour a whole bunch of paint on your plate thinking you're gonna use it all, because you won't. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh my gosh, the birds, are the birds singing at your place? I, it, it, it has been so perfect here lately. Of course, I've been in the house all the time, so I, don't, I haven't enjoyed it, but the birds are singing. It's just beautiful. Thank you, Joanne. Wow. Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl, you can't miss our show every day. Uh, Cheryl, today we're doing pink, pink checks. And um, so far, it is a nice change. I mean, it is fun to do. I'm gonna go back and still add stuff to this, of course. And I want you guys to see the handle I made because it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. But I like the pink checks for a change up and especially, like somebody said, for Mother's Day, great gift. Okay, so now look at the difference between this side which has the white shading through. I know, uh, LaTanya, yeah, the birds are spectacular. Look at what a difference when you've got the white going through it. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we're gonna run the white through, but can you believe how fast we did that? And now the white is helping to um, get rid of the pencil marks too. I'm gonna to have to go over it one more time, I can tell, because I must have gotten a little uh, handsy on this side. Heavy hand with the, oh shoot. This is why you always have your base coat on hand, and you know, obviously, you're not painting upside down like this, like I am trying to. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, so let me get some white going through these. And you know, normally my drags Checks and drags, I mean like the white drag and the yellow drag behind my checks is always vertically and never horizontally. But when I checked how these, uh, how this pattern looks online, 
the drags are horizontally. I love it. Do you guys love it? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm, I'm glad we did this. I'm going to take our gold, our Martha Stewart gold, and uh, you're doing blue and white? Oh, good, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I'm gonna do gold right here, gold here, and then we're gonna gold around here, and then we're gonna make our handle, and it's gonna be spectacular. So, all right. So, how about that? Easy peasy, pink. Just keep in mind when you guys say, what's the color? Oh, thank you for all those hearts, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, when people say, what's the color? How do, what color do I use for blue? It's never just a color. It's a matter of really seeing through all of the colors and studying the checks, which is what I do for you, and then you don't have to do that, and then I just tell you what to do, which is my favorite thing. Okay, I'm gonna use my liquid leaf because I love it on metal more than anything. Um, the other, you know, the other golds, they just don't have it. Okay, here's a question though. All right, uh-oh, here we go. This is, oh, okay. Do we want to, <laughs> I hate this when I do this. Do we want to, instead of gold, do we want to do a little strip of diamonds or will it be a nightmare for anybody to put anything on or do you love it? Uh, yes, the tray came from Goodwill. It was just, um, oh, thank you, Karen. I kind of do too. I'm getting used to them. Uh, let me know. Do you think it needs gold paint? Let me show you what it would look like because we can always cover back over it. Hold on. Do a very good job on that. I'll have to go back and touch that up. Okay, do we like the gold or do we like the diamonds? Gold. Uh, let's see, diamonds, gold. Love the rhinestones. Um, I'm undecided on that. Let's do let's do um, this part and do our handle, and then we're gonna make a, a class a, a class group decision final because I feel like maybe once we do this, it might change it up. Let me get a better brush, this one's too little. That's what I love when you do, like I can handle a bigger brush right now. Not that big. So I love, I love, love, love how easy this project was and I was kind of nervous about the pink checks today because like I said, I haven't done them in a class yet and I really wasn't sure if I had the right color until I did the spring sign and then I was like, yep, I had the right color. And you see, every step you do, it just helps eliminate some of your messes from the previous step. Oh, I can go pretty fast. I did look at the gold rub and buff for this too, but it made it too rustic. And um, I definitely wanted it to be a little bit more elegant. As elegant as it can be with the, they wrong though, final sentence. Okay, you guys like the gold, gold. Everybody's liking the gold. Okay, I think so too, you guys. I think it would get, the rhinestones are really pretty, but now that you're seeing me do the gold on the tray, I think it really is what it needs. And how much do you guys love this? I'm using, what am I using? I'm using liquid leaf because it's so pretty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till you see, it's the handles that are going to put us over the top, which is um, what we always wanna be, is totally over the top. Oh, I'm sorry, are you guys still here? That's what happens. <laughs> I go, oh, this is really pretty. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> uh, the gold is everywhere. You guys go get this gold. This gold you can get, easy. This is just the liquid leaf, which you can get anywhere. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, look how pretty, 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 pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, May 1st, you guys know, I'm going to, well, most of you know, I'm going to California for six weeks uh, on the beach in Coronado, but I will, <laughs> I know, I forget when you guys, oh yeah, there's, uh, there's a couple hundred people watching you right now, you need to kind of pull yourself back in. Um, I will still be working, just so you know, I would never stop working, but I probably won't be working every single day because I can't, yeah, I just can't. Susan Walsh, I've been painting for about 20 some odd, maybe more years, I, um, but I want everybody to know, I have no artistic background. I wasn't even very good at drawing or anything or painting or anything. Um, but when I lived in Kansas City, Missouri, I started a, my husband lost his job and he was a big shot with a telecom company and he was making a lot of money and all of a sudden we had a severance package for about three months and that was it. And so I wasn't working or anything so I had to pull it together. So I, um, I had a friend of mine teach me how to do faux finishes and I started the business like literally the next day uh, I ran an ad in the paper and just said that I did faux finishes and that I was looking for clients basically to just kind of let me come do it for a, you know, barely a cost. And that's how I started my business. And I ended up supporting our family completely, um, for almost three full years on just my salary. So I'm telling you guys, you can do anything. But while I was, and I, and I, we had, I had a number of people that worked for me and we had a lot of fun. It was a great business to be in. And then I started doing murals. So then I started taking some painting classes so that I could learn how to do murals because then that was a super big deal. And um, I really wasn't very good at painting. So I started out using stencils. And I'm not kidding, one day I was doing this kid's uh, playhouse, uh, painting a playhouse for a kid, and it was on a wall. So they, I mean, it was like I'm painting a playhouse. I'm painting a piece of wall to look like a big playhouse. And I just said, Lord, I, you, need to, you need to give me this talent because I don't have it and I want it desperately and I'm willing to work for it. And um, that is a true story. And I literally went home and just started practicing and was shocked when I would just like sketch out something and I could do it, I was floored. So I say power prayer and um, the just the willingness that I have to learn is what took me to the other level, which has now brought me to this, which is now I teach it. So I, I couldn't be more grateful for how it all happened. That one was a lot better. Oh my gosh. It's really cute. I really, really, really like it. Uh, and you guys, I did try a dish, a Dawn a dish soap the other day. I'm not going to gold the whole bottom, but just know I'm going to. I'll have it all over me if I do it right now. Um, I tried Dawn dish soap on cleaning up my, uh, yeah, rose for sure. Well, thank you. I like I said, this is this is not just me. This is uh, good Lord. Let me have this and knew I was gonna need it because then you know everything life happens and then all of a sudden you're the breadwinner and then you're maybe you're not for a season and then you are again and you. So this is why I say with the stuff I'm showing you guys, nobody online is doing stuff like this. Just fun, funny stuff. I don't have time to do it. So. One of you, somebody that I know and love should be making money doing it. Okay, this is my favorite part now. I, I first brought this out, and we gotta kinda let this gold dry, but I first brought this out thinking, okay, we're just so different. I'm gonna take a necklace, which look how pretty this would be. And this might be, this might be what you guys wanna do anyway, which I'm fine with, I'll do whatever you wanna do. Okay, so you know how all the beads are the hot thing right now, what about um, no one would believe that that started at Goodwill. I know, and guess what, Martha? I just realized I didn't take a before picture, but surely these little trays are everywhere. I can find another one. Okay, so, and it was just a mess. Anyway, you guys, look at how pretty an old pearl necklace would be. 
If you make a boo-boo with gold, how do you correct it? Uh, Debbie, your base coat always will go over it. It'll take a couple coats, but um, it will go over it. Anyway, okay, so this is one option, you guys, that we would do a, I just a cheap pearl necklace that I got at Goodwill that we would do all the way around. And obviously we haven't sealed it. I haven't finished and cleaned everything up yet. Dawn and Vinegar, Lori, I've never heard of that. Um, I have never heard of that, whoops. Okay, so there's one, or I'm excited about this. I was messing around today and made this. There's my little bead thing so these don't run all over the place. I was really looking at handles and I have a whole bunch of doorknobs and handles and I wanted something on it, but I didn't know what and I started going through all my bead boxes. Look at this darling little handle I made. So let me know, do we love the handle? Is it cheesy? Or do we like the pearls better? Hold on, let me get over here. Okay, whoops. Do you see it? It's just some beads and stuff, and I just put them together. What do you guys say? Let me know, pearls or... Um, I don't want to do pearls and knobs, do I? What are you using the Dawn for, LaTanya? Um, sometimes I was using it to watch... Well, I definitely use it to... I put a little bit of Dawn in the bottom of all of my watering cans so that the Dawn's in there all day long so my brushes stay soft. So um, you guys so far, handle, handle, yes, handle. Okay, weren't those cute, you guys? And I just happen to have that stuff laying around. And it's different. Okay, let's go with the handle. It's totally different and I thought it was fun. And I think it needs to go down there. So let me show you all I did to make it because um, even I, honestly, even I was floored once I got done. Uh, you guys like the handle, handle, handle. Okay, but how cute for another project for you guys to just hot glue an old bead necklace. Or if you're doing it as an heirloom project, one of your grandmother's, heir, uh, you know, necklaces that you're not wearing. Okay, so all I did is, let's see, how did I start it? So I've got um, one of these, and the reason I started with this is because I knew I could make it flat. So here's what I did. I've got, this is just one of those cheap little plastic beads, and I'm sure there's a better way, but you guys know I'm all about what's the quickest way to get this sucker done. And so all I did was wrap that uh, wire around twice. That's all I did. All right, let me uh, get these. I'm gonna make another one with that. Uh, I'm gonna make another tray if I have, I, I'm sure I have a little tray somewhere, but I'm gonna make another one with this because I think that's really cute too. Okay, so then all I had of these little tiny beads, their spacer beads were silver. So all I did was throw them in the cap of my gold, Martha Stewart gold, and then put them out on a paper towel because I didn't want silver on this. But now how pretty are they? Those are hard to find, the little gold ones. Um, oh, the handle with pearls would have been cute too. Yeah, the, the, that's right. The pearls are pretty, but this is just, we wanna be different about everything. So now I've got these beautiful little pink, um, pink, they're glass beads, or ceramic, what, I, don't, I don't know, I think they're glass. I got a, a hump in there. Come on, oops, I gotta get rid of that. I think, there we go. Okay, that one's on. So what's next? And then I've got, and these are just, this one's, these are just plastic, but I just loved how, uh, you know, glittery they were. Thought they were fun. Okay, another pink. Guys, easy, easy, easy. Start thinking about stuff like this because this, Concept would work for so many different things. Handles, just love them. And then look, so that's why I used the flat flowers because I just thought they were just fun. So you can see all I'm doing is just wrapping them around those deals, no big deal. Uh, I'm sure there's a better way, but I'm not doing it. So, and then I just pushed, so simple. I pushed that, the part where I wired to the back. Then all I'm gonna do is cut that off. Oh yeah, it's just pretty. 
Still mad at my big glue gun. Still mad. So I'm going with, and okay, so you just wanna make sure that all your wires are flat. They are. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to send that glue stick pack in, or the big glue gun pack in. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. If <laughs> I do say so myself. Uh, aw, thank you, Pam. I, uh, oh my gosh. I am so <laughs> impressed with myself today. That is adorable. Let's do this one. And then, like I said, I'll go back and clean everything up and seal everything. But um, I was dying to get this on today. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This one's having a hard time. Hold on. I think there's too much. There we go. I don't think I got it on right, right away. Now, what would you, oh, thank you for all those hearts. Oh my gosh, I just looked up and there was like a million of them. Um, all right, hold on, there it is. How pretty is that, you guys? What would you guys use this for? Like perfume? Here's the only thing with these glasses, though, you guys, I already told you, you gotta have a big head to wear them. They're, they're big on me. Somebody said, though, um, it is so feminine and it is so pretty. Now, Here's what I'll do. When I do the, the makeup one, I'll do it in black and white, check. And um, yeah, I know, isn't that pretty? So um, yeah, I'm thrilled. Like I said, I'm going to fix it. And then I really wanted to do a little diamond dust on it uh, in the center, but I'm afraid that if I do, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys would use this for. Marsha, thank you so much for that. It is a nice change. It's refreshing. It's very feminine. It's pretty. Um, would you guys do diamond dust on this? Or again, this is where, what question do we answer to get in the drawing for this tray? Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an auction tray. I mean, I can give it away. Uh, you know how I am. Mom, thank you. We nailed it. We totally nailed this one. I, it was touch and go with that transfer. Uh, I'm going to say, I love the transfer. I love the Glitter Bee Boutique transfers because of her bright, um, I mean, really, really pretty bright colors. I mean, even this would be such a cute one. Well, bless your little heart. Uh, it does, Debbie, I know. Honestly, Debbie Hicks, it's, I'm not creepy, I promise you, but I, I'm so uh, blown away by your home and all your beautiful things that sometimes, um, like today when I was doing it, I was picturing your dishes in my head when I was doing this, thinking, okay, that's gotta, I'm getting close to the color. So I promise I'm not creepy, I'm not stalking, I'm not stalking you or anything. Um, you would just set it on your dresser just for whatever, earrings, yeah. Uh, you would put... Wrap treats on it. Oh gosh, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Would not diamond dust it, Morello? Okay, no diamond dust, no diamond dust. Okay, because I do, I'm afraid it's going to not sit right. But, um, yeah, like I said, all I'm going to do is finish cleaning it all up and then um, I'm going to paint the gold on the back and then I'll put, and I'll, I'll touch that up. I don't, you guys don't have to sit and watch me do all that. But, um, Thank you. No diamond dust and use for earrings and necklaces. And yeah, I might just use this myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a perfect size for the back of a toilet. It really is, Karen. That was a great idea. Because you know what I put on the back of my toilet? It's just like matches and then I just have something little. Um, but yeah, for jewelry, <laughs> it'll be in our auction. Is it your birthday coming up or anything? Uh, anyway. Oh my gosh, you guys, go go get some of these at Goodwill. This was the simplest project. But, had yeah, chocolates would be so pretty on this. But had I, um, had I thought ahead and had the slick stick and been able to really seal it or um, prime it really well, I would have been happy. I don't know if you guys noticed. I always try and hide stuff from you guys when it, something goes wrong. Uh, did, uh, uh, but I, uh, when I was erasing it, a little bit of the paint started to chipping down to the metal. 
and that's what happens. So uh, let's make sure if you're if you're really you don't have the slick stick and you're doing the um, you're going to do our class, the tea set class for Sunday night. Then make sure at least go get chalk paint or something that will really prime it really well. I didn't think I had a problem with the zinser and I never have before, but I did on this one for some reason. Maybe I didn't let it dry long enough or something. Um, for your Bible, oh, just to sit on it? That's pretty, that would be pretty bonbons to go with my, yeah, it's true. Um, boy, you guys remember every single thing I say. Uh, yeah, I'll go get some more and make more of these because I'm really, really thrilled with it. And it was a pretty shape and it's just a pretty color, but super easy, you guys. So I'll take pictures of this. I'm so grateful that you guys loved it. Shelly DeBowl, we got the transfers from Glitter Bee Boutique. And um, it's literally just theglitterbeeboutique.com. She's also on Etsy. And, oh, pedophores would be so, so, so pretty. Oh, good. Somebody has a tray ready to try it on. I'm so happy. What will I seal it with? Um, Mara. Oh, I love that name. Great, great, great question. I'm going to seal it with uh, Triple Thick, which is super shiny, but I don't want to seal it until I know all the gold is dry. And it did say to wait, um, I think it said an hour before you seal one of their transfers because it could pull it back up again. Uh, what sealer are you going to use? Yes, I'm using, I'm going to use the triple thick because it's shiny and it'll make it so pretty. But, um, get your mom. <laughs> yeah, I just, mom, my mom has so much of my crap that I make. Like, I'm pretty sure she's like, Ugh, I'm over it. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm going to go through and clean it all up still. I hate to have you guys just hang out and watch me clean it up, but I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to seal it. Um, don't think the lemon girl is on. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Yes, I'm going to seal it, Lynn. Will you seal the gold too? Okay, great, great question. I will not. What a great question, you guys. If you've not taken our classes, oh, bath bombs, that's adorable. Perfume bottles. Yeah, but that's why it's so critical to make sure your base coat and your primer is solid. That way, when you do start putting stuff on, it's not going to scratch and that's why i'm i want to seal this really really well i i might all i might even use the engine enamel on this one um what do you seal okay yeah um you know what food safe stuff is a farce i'm just telling you right now uh if you look it up what sealer what paint is uh you know food grade safe they'll tell you that all of their products are we've never found one that is like guaranteed nothing's gonna happen but in all the years I've been painting now, which is about 20, I have fed food off of a lot of my little trays and no one's died yet that I know of, <laughs> that I know of. You know, I don't know. If you're, if you're funny about stuff like that, then, um, you know, I would say keep researching, but I think it's a farce, to be totally honest with you. Uh, yes, Rita, you're... <laughs> Oh, I thought you were meaning something else. You would put feet on it. Oh, I'm totally going to do that, Rita. I was thought, because yesterday we were laughing about um, husbands that would put their big feet and their big head on our beautiful pillows. Um, triple thick on the gold. Okay, yeah, so I was finishing that. I'm not going to seal the gold. Great question, because if you seal a bunch of gold like that, it tends to patina and turn a really funky, ugly green. Um... So I appreciate you asking that, Kay, because no, I, we shouldn't seal that. But this, these two lines that I have here that are gold are not going to hurt a thing. It's just such a tiny thing. It's not going to make any difference. I think once we seal it, though, everything's going to be great. Yes, the feet on the bottom, I'm definitely going to do. I have to think about um, what I have and where I have them. I know I have even little balls would be adorable and I will do that. I will do that before I put the picture up. That was such a great idea. This is why I ask you guys for your advice because you guys always have way better ideas than I do, but I am. I'm the idea master. Like I, I can put an inspiration out there, but I love how you guys always just take it and run with it. Um, I will erase the pencil marks. Um, I'm, yeah, I usually erase them when I go, 
uh, but because I was live. I will erase all these, but then I'm also going to, this is why I'm not sealing it yet. I'm going to touch it all up. Um, I was doing it like face, trying to face you guys and I didn't do a very good job. So I'm gonna go through and fix it all up, make it perfect. I'm gonna put feet on it, which I'm super excited about that. Glass knobs for the feet would be beautiful if I have little ones. Um, pink beads for the feet too. I do have pink beads. Um, I do have them. Again, we'll use the triple thick. Uh, use a uh, cute pink, maybe the half round beads, which I do have those. I have some of those. So um, I will definitely do all that and I will post the picture. I'm gonna go do it right now and post the picture before I, um, you know, go out for the evening. Been a little busy this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad that we did this together. It's absolutely my most favorite thing that we do these together. Again, it was theglitterbeeboutique.com where I got the transfers and she had some really, really nice ones. I still love um, when life gives you lemons. Grab the vodka. That's a really cute one because, you know, we're such little lemon freaks over here right now. Um, and the makeup one, I'm going to do a tray with that too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to finish it up and I'm going to post it. And um, have we heard from Delia yet? Somebody give me a big N-O, Kathy, a big N-O or a big Y-E-S uh, so I can see it. Um, you go out more than, <laughs> Joanne, I go out more than your back. I don't think so. Good try. Uh, yeah, this was a good one. This was something totally different than anything we've done in a while. Thank you so much. I am so glad you guys liked it. This was, this is way more elegant than we're used to, but I still love that we got in my funny stuff, which is, they wrong though. That's still so good. Uh, I'm gonna come to the Woodlands, Debbie Hicks, and as long as I can stay at your house. Oh, you said I can, I totally will, believe me. I feel like I would feel like the princess in the pea in your one of your uh, guest rooms. Uh, yes, go back and watch the beginning. You'll see who won and, uh, no, we haven't seen her. Okay, guys, go to, there's a, uh, a post. If you, if you've already done it, you're already in and don't do it again because it d doesn't make a bit of, bit of difference anyway. Thanks so much, you guys. Um, there's a post and I think it is this picture and it says, the question is, um, what is an old person thing that you do? on almost a daily basis. And the reason for the question was because uh, it was my birthday this weekend. So that's why that question. I have a really good question for next week too. But, um, so go look for the post on this page on Studio MDAZ with this. And you know what? I, I have a feeling we're gonna be drawing again on Monday for this. So make sure you're in that drawing. Um, thank you so much for art checking everybody. Uh, yeah, it is bright and cheerful and we if you watch the video too of that one It was easy to do and um, Sweet Joyce uh, went to Hobby Lobby and got me two more of those frames. So I'm gonna make some more stuff out of that All right, you guys have a great weekend I'm so happy I got to spend as much time with you this week as I did. It's a it's nothing absolutely nothing but pure joy for me uh, Annie Richard your daughter lives near Woodlands. All right. Well, uh She's gonna have to head on over there. We did nail it today, I'm super happy. So thank you guys so much again, uh, just in case you forget what I really look like. We, we haven't left yet, we're both still here. Uh, but I do feel like those other glasses don't um, comment on that post to enter. Yeah, uh, I do feel like those, th these glasses don't reflect as bad as the other ones. Um, all right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night, a great weekend. And it's not too late to sign up for our tea set class. Most ladies will just watch it, kind of take it all in and then put it up like Krista Roberts, Robertson, Ryan does on her big screen TV, because I always say it's live TV and she'll put me on her big screen TV and then do it. You can do it on your own time too, which helps, but however you want to do it, uh, but it's not too late to still sign up for that at www.studiomdaz.com. I'll see all you guys that signed up uh, Sunday night, 4 p.m. my time. We've got a bunch of giveaways for both nights. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you've tinkled. Make sure you have your uh, beverage of choice. And you, if you're playing along, make sure that your tea set is primed and base coated. 
two different things. And if you have questions, just message me. And um, I'm a little disappointed in all of you for the talent show. It's not going well. I need you guys to get over there and start getting some talents on there. I would be so happy and blown away if people would start doing lives or videos. You don't have to ask. You just get on there and do them. So give me some more, give me some more talent. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you, um, see you later. Bye.